Hello, this is Imatit with Samuel Oke, and this channel is dedicated to helping young mathematicians reach their full potential as soon as possible. In this lesson, you will be learning how to integrate by parts. So, um, and we employ this technique when we have to integrate product of two functions. So, this lesson is part of a series of lessons where I show how to integrate by part. So, um, here we have to integrate the integral of x raised to power 3 multiplied by sine 2x plus 1 dx. So, what we used to do is we separate this component into u and the v component. So, let our u be x raised to power 3 and the v be sine 2x plus 1 dx. I hope you still remember the formula for um, performing this operation for this technique. So the integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du. So we need to obtain u v, then we would also need to obtain du as well. So what is um, the expression for du dx? That's the differential of u with respect to s. That would be 3x squared, right? 3 multiplied by s raised to the power 3 plus 1, right? So let's integrate both sides. So we are supposed to be doing this simultaneously. I'm supposed to be true with 1 first. So but for the sake of practice, so let me just show you this way. So when we integrate both sides, for that equation we have um, v equals negative cos 2x plus 1 all over 2x plus 1. So that is um, a u substitution type, right? So, and here we cross multiply and we obtain um, the u equals 3x squared multiplied by um, dx. And when we divide both sides by um, 3x. Okay, excuse me. So um, now we've obtained v, we've obtained u. And we've obtained du. So let's go on and put this back into the whole thing. So we have the integral of x raised to power 3 sine 2x plus 1 ds will be equal to u multiplied by v, where u is x raised to power 3, right? So and we will multiply that by negative cos 2x plus 1, um, 2x plus 1 all over 2. So we are taking that product. So, and minus the integral of V. And where V is um, negative, cos 2x plus 1 all over 2. So, and then we have the U to put in. The U is um, 3x squared dx. So, this is partly solved. But notice we still have an integral in our solution. So we have to repeat this process. So by integrating that integral, we still have in our solution. So um, this is equal to, if we would um, express this properly. So we have negative x raised to power 3 cause 2x plus 1 all over 2. And there we have negative 1 over 2 and the 3 there. So that becomes um, 3 all over 2, right? Into the integral of cos 2x plus 1. So, and multiplied by x raised to power 2 dx. So that is the expression we have to integrate. Then we can come back and put that back into this expression to obtain the final solution. So we have the integral of cos 2x plus 1 multiplied by x dx, s squared. So this is another um, integration by part type. So we have to repeat this process. This time we're going to let u equals x raised to power 2. And let dv equals um, cos 2x plus 1. It can be tricky to, show, to choose which component will be um, u and which component will be dv. So you might need a little bit of practice to get used to it. 
So, and sometimes you may have to um, repeat this process several times, a couple of times before you can finally uh, integrate the whole thing completely. So let's do this like we did the first one. So we carry along both processes at the same time. We integrate both sides for this equation and we have the integral of the V equals the integral of cos 2x plus 1 dx. Integral of the V is V and the integral of cos 2x plus 1 is um, sine 2x plus 1 and all over 2. Remember that is a U substitution type. So and what's the expression for the U there? So the U is equal to 2x dx, right? And right now we have obtained the U, we have obtained V and we have obtained um, u as well. So let us put all this um, back into the formula. So we have all the original expression would imply u multiplied by v, where u is x raised to power 2, right? So, and v is sine 2x plus 1. So we have x raised to power 2 multiplied by sine 2x plus 1 and all over 2 so I didn't put that bracket all over 2 and minus the integral of V multiplied by the U where V is sine 2x plus 1 all over 2 and what's the U? the U is um, 2x dx right? so multiply by 2x dx so this is not is not conclusive enough so well let's rewrite it properly so we have um, x raised to power 2 sine 2x plus 1 all over 2 so minus the 2 there cancel out the 2 we have down there so we have the integral of sine 2x plus 1 and multiplied by x dx okay now this is what we have to deal with now so that means we will need to repeat this um, process one more time. Notice we we'll keep repeating the process until we have that x all by itself. And you're going to see what is going to happen next. Please, if you are getting value from this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. So, and subscribe to see more content like this. So, I will be showing solution to complex integrals and differential on this channel. Although we have much more simpler um, um, topics to deal with on this channel as well so um, this would imply remember what we have originally is negative x raised to power 3 cos 2x plus 1 all over 2 plus 3 all over 2 and into now let's put in the f new um, results we obtain for the other integral so we have x raised to the power 2 sine 2x plus 1 all over 2 and minus. So we have the integral of sine 2x plus 1 and multiplied by x dx. So this is our new um, um, result that we have to deal with. So this is inconclusive enough as you can see we still have integral in our solution. So this will be the last time. So we, when we integrate this finally, so then we can um, put it back in and the um, integral would have been evaluated completely. So here we have the integral of sine 2x plus 1 and multiplied by x dx, right? So this time let our u be x again and we'll let dv so what's the expression for du dx? That's 1, right? And du is equal to dx by cross multiplication. So we would let um, our dv be um, sine 2x plus 1 dx. So let's integrate both sides. If we integrate both sides, this would be integral of dv equals integral of sine 2x plus 1 dx. So, um, what is the integral of the V? The integral of the V is V, right? And the integral of sin 2x plus 1 dx is negative cos 2x plus 1, right? And all over 2. Remember that is a U substitution type. 
we divide it by the derivative of um, 2x plus 1. So the formula, hope you still remember, is the integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du. So let's put all this back in. So what is u? x, right? And multiplied by v. What is v? v is um, negative cos 2x plus 1 and all over 2, right? So then we subtract the f the, we subtract the integral of v. So v is negative cos 2x plus 1 all over 2. So and multiply by um, the, the u. And the u equals dx. So at this point, you will notice that the um, integral in our solution now can is conclusive. We can con completely um, evaluate that. So we have negative x cos 2x plus 1 over 2 minus. So that will be minus times plus. Minus is plus, right? So if we extract the constant 1 over 2, then what we have left, the integral will be sine 2x plus 1 and all over 2 right so because that is uh, a u substitution type we just have to put all of this back in this space and if we do that we would obtain the complete solution so please if you get value from this lesson remember to give the video a like and subscribe to this channel if you would like to see more educational contents like this so the original problem is the integral of x raised to power 3 sine 2 x plus 1 dx, right? Now, all of this is equal to so x raised, negative x raised to power 3 cos 2 x plus 1 and all over 2. So, plus um, 3 all over 2 into... Um, x raised to the power 2 sine 2 x plus 1 all over 2 so but we need to um, open that bracket right so we can carry that along so and minus negative 3 all over 2 into so let's put all of that integral inside there. So we have minus x cos 2x plus 1 all over 2 and plus sine 2x plus 1 all over 4. So and there you have it. Sorry that is a bit out of the camera frame. So I hope you notice we have 2x plus 1 there. So and that's the solution to that problem. So we may have to repeat integration by parts repeatedly before we can conclusively um, integrate some problem. There are solutions to other integrals on this channel, so you can please check them. Please remember to hit like on this video and subscribe for more. And until next time, keep matting it, keep winning.